So today I wanted to make a new video about the ROG Ally and I recorded everything uh, but messed up again. However, there are a few things that I've learned from this experience nonetheless that I really, really want to share with you guys. So what was the problem initially? The ROG Ally comes with a small and dinky 512 gigabyte SSD. And for reference, this is the SSD. So this is the original SSD that the ROG Ally comes with. And that means that if you wanna upgrade this SSD, which is possible and which is great, is that you also need to buy a smaller SSD, which can get fairly expensive. I wanted to upgrade to at least a terabyte of SSD. And I've noticed a problem that if I wanna buy a terabyte of this SSD, I'll need to shill out around 100 to 120 euros. But more common SSDs, like these ones you can use for your PC, are way cheaper. For instance, one terabyte of this SSD costs me around 60 euros or $60. So that means I'm gonna pay a premium for a smaller SSD for um, around 40 to 60 bucks. And I didn't want to do that. So I went to my best friend on AliExpress and there they sell this adapter kit. And today I'm gonna show you how you can install that adapter kit really, really easily. However, before we do that, I'm gonna show you the program I used to copy all my data to the new SSD. So I've installed this SSD in this little caddy and this allows the SSD to be converted to a USB-C cable. Let's turn on the ROG Ally. So again, I've already done the whole mod, but the video got corrupted. But I really wanna show this because it is really interesting to see. So what you'll need to do uh, is to plug in the external SSD into your ROG Ally. And a program that helped me to uh, clone my drive really, really easily was Disk Genius. I'll open it up for you and I'll leave a link down below because this program made it really, really easy. And why I wanted to clone my drive is because there is some proprietary software on the ROG Ally that I really like and don't want to reinstall. Like for instance, to customize the RGB lighting or to use joy to mouse I didn't want to do that all over again. So once you are in Disk Genius, go to Tools, System Migration, then you'll need to select your target disk, press OK, then press again OK, it will say that it will delete everything on your drive, and then you'll press Start in the bottom. And just let the ROG Ally do its thing. This process of cloning takes around 45 minutes and then your drive should be ready to be installed in your ROG Ally. So again, clone your drive, and once your drive is done cloning, you can just shut down the Ally like you're used to. While your Ally is shutting down, you can just take off the external drive, which has your new SSD that you're preparing, and not the old SSD like me, but the new SSD is in here. The new SSD should be in here, and you just take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew these six screws. Five of them are the same and only this screw is shorter than the rest. You'll need to turn quite a long time because the screws are fairly long. Just put them in a place where you won't lose them because it would be a headache if you lost them. And also make sure that you don't mess up the order of the screws because the middle one is for a reason that I don't know, but, but obviously for a reason shorter than the rest. So make sure that that one just is in the right place when you put it back together. Once all six screws are out, the ROG Ally is fairly easy to open and I like to work from the bottom. You see that it already opens a little bit on the bottom. I use this plastic tool right here and I just try to slide it through, not too deep and go into here. Go to the palm rest, and what I would recommend is if you're near like the palm rest, twist it until you hear an audible click. And you'll need to do that on the other side as well. So not too deep, but just go to the palm rest and twist, and then it's open. Lay it back down, pull up. Once you open up the ROG Ally for the first time, you can pull up this flap and there you see the original ROG Ally SSD but you want to replace it with your cloned one. And as you can see, if I would put this here, well, obviously it won't work. So I went back to my friends on AliExpress and they sold this adapter kit. So if you want to install this adapter kit, there is one small problem. Normally when working on electronics, I would urge you and recommend you really to unplug the battery. However, if you want to do this mod, this mod won't work if you unplug the battery because you won't be able to 
replug it in. Well, that's mainly because that's mainly because this side will be over the battery connector. And there comes the second problem that I've tackled. This metal bit, so this metal bit goes through and it looks like it's touching the bottom side. Right now it's black because I've uh, put some tape here. That's because this little part of this daughter board will be on top of the battery connector, which has some little metal bits. So I don't want to bridge them. So I would recommend you to do it as well. Just put a little bit of tape here. Um, it's not necessarily, I think, but I would recommend it just for your own safety's sake. So let's proceed uninstalling the old SSD. So put up the flap and just grab your screwdriver. It's all the same screwdriver. So once you found the right size to open up the case, you can just use the same bit for everything else basically. And this is just a little bit of finagling, especially when you have a camera in between. You just try to pinch it, get it up a little bit and just wiggle until it gets out. And then we have the daughter board. We'll try to place it in on an angle. Again, wiggle it a little bit and push until it's in and then drop it down. And as you can see, here you have the screw hole. So you grab the screw that you just loosened from the old SSD and screw it in. And then you grab the new SSD, put it up on an angle and push it inside. When the gold fingers are not visible anymore, then you know you're set. You place it down. The adapter kit comes with a few little screws. So just grab one of those screws that are provided with the adapter kit and screw it in. And this is also the reason why I've put that tape on because as you can see, it's fairly close to the battery connector. I just don't want to bridge anything. So if you have your ROG Ally for a couple of years, maybe this is the moment to clean it up, but this is not the tutorial for that. The next step you're going to do is grab the back casing and put it on top and just push it from the both the palm rests in. It will click and will be back. And then you can click in the rest as well. So right now you might want to turn it on, but that won't work. Don't panic because the backside was open. It does not turn on. You'll need to plug in a charger first and then you'll see the light. One other thing, if you plug in the charger, but the backside is not on the console, it won't charge, it won't turn on. But right now you see the charging light and if I press it on, I mean, I need to long press, obviously, it will go on without any problem. The first boot into your new SSD could take a while, but because I've done this already, it's it just picked up right where it left off. So, and as you can see, after the first boot, we'll go to this PC and you'll see it right there. 508 gigabytes are free of the 921, which means that we've installed a new one terabyte full size SSD in this bad boy. I'm just gonna put in all these screws. Make sure that the bottom middle one is the correct screw because that's the only screw with an other size. And the screws are fairly long, so you'll need to be turning that screwdriver for a little while. But rest assured, it will go through eventually. Screw everything hand tight, but not tighter than that. Because if you need to open it for some reason, and you also just don't want to strip your screws. So everything is on. Back buttons work perfectly. And there you have it. You've installed a new full size SSD in your ROG Ally. And you can just do whatever you like with the old SSD. I'm just going to use it in this case as a external SSD for perhaps some school projects and such or videos. I don't know. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions about this mod or any uh, recommendations or you are planning to do this mod yourself, please let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. Also, if you have any questions about Disk Genius, it's not a sponsor, but I found that software to be great. It's the easiest way for me at least to clone my device. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.